Hello there and welcome to Until Dawn Part 2. As mentioned in the last part, we're trying to kill off Mike, Jess, Emily and Matt. That is our primary goal whilst keeping Sam, Chris and Ashley alive, but that's only optional. I'd prefer to keep them alive, but as I said, it's completely optional. The primary objective is to kill the first four mentioned. Let us continue in this endeavor. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Don't No! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here OK? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Uh, I don't think he needs to be reminded about his sisters. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. <laughs> hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. They both have a crush on each other, so... Um... You, you doing alright? Yeah. Aside from being kinda cold, and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kinda weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Uh, kinda try and make them... I don't know. I don't really know how to your relationship stuff. I honestly usually when it comes to relationships what I have to do is more deal with my family after the breakup. That's pretty much the extent of my Actually, relationship knowledge. Today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip Rufus. that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. 
Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. What the parents have to do with that? You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Just gonna go off my own relationship. I don't know. Stop her. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? And what if she she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? Here. You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. <sighs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I know there's plenty of stones. Didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Is that all that you care really about, lad? Buns. I mean, I know that, like, a lot of people apparently care about shagging, but I just don't see the fucking big deal. Damn, all right. Pretty low on juice here. Ugh, I just had to turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff and. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, dude, there's this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. Hmm. You know, comment on it. Is this some ASMR shit for some people? I'm strange, I know. So yeah, I don't understand why people care so much about sex. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Just... Nice one. Oh, I was thinking you'd open it. Yeah. There's how many billion people on the earth right now? It's really have to care that much about making more. I don't think so. Fuck that zoo, we're almost getting to the point that there's too many. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Did I do that? Oh, you're magic. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Yo, wizard, Chris. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Okay. How the fuck? Right, I've. I myself have done the lighter with a spray on deodorant thing. I'd done it when I was about 10 or so. I feel like that's about the normal age to do it. These guys are supposed to be about 18, 19. That's my age and a year older. Is this what... I know that this isn't 
what all of them are like, but is this what some Americans are like at this age? Really? Because I've done the flamethrower thing and it... Because... Uh, like, I mean, for a start, if you do it for too long, you're going to blow up the fucking can. But... I mean... It's a frozen lock. It, you'd need to do it for about... I don't know, a couple minutes at the very least before it heat up and then it would just be the outside heat up but the inside would still be icy cold. Because that's the way this shit fucking works. How many other food before? Okay, maybe we should just leave the deodorant where it was because I don't want this guy to die just yet anyway. Shut up! Fat, come here. Come here. I doubt he's gonna try and eat it, but I wish that he would. Oh, what's this? Hello. So, what have we here? Fifth of June, nineteen ninety-seven. The Alberta Bugle. Ex-janitor convicted for ransom. Saint swears revenge on movie mogul's family. By Chrissy Scott, chief reporter. Charlie. That's the different gender of similar name. Victor Malgram was fifty-two. Fifty-two was yesterday sentenced to sixteen years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Malgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountains Old Hotel for twenty-eight years. However, when holiday producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Malgram was fired. Milgram was fired, even. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at the... At the yeah. Screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda. Melinda, calling her a fucking whore. He vowed to get all. He vowed to get all of your fucking. All of your fucking husband and kids. That doesn't make much sense, does it? All of your fucking kids, your husband too, would have been better. Or all of your fucking family. That would have been much better. And said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threat, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. <laughs> But you know what? What's on the back? Move your hand, Chris. LRS receives how many million? Five point fifteen million to start phase one of faculty's plans. Okay. What's LSDR? Is that some kind of drug? Or liberty city with an S? Uh, Rehypnol Division? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Oh, there's a bag. What's this? Is there a coin? Oh, wait. I already picked that up, didn't I? Okay, this part's starting to drag on, so I guess I'll just kind of go where I'm supposed to. I'm just kind of being blathering for the last wee bit. Bring it up before you set your coat on fire, lad. In fact, you don't know. Set your coat on fire. Come on, pull it. <laughs> Why the fuck did I just say that when it sounds like that? Hold on, can I? Damn it! Oh, 
Alright, let's just go back for a wee bit then. See what's over here and get a better idea for the scenery. Or the way out. I gotta say, there's a nice, nice fucking brickwork here. Yeah. Hmm. This is a nice fucking job. That's fucking good looking. Wait, wait a second. Hold on one second. I just want to check something. Is that. Hmm. No. Hold on. What if I go back here? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Is that. It looks like it's actually unique pillars every time, but I feel hmm, I feel like that's unlikely. I feel like it's a lot more likely that they'll have just at least they're in different positions every time. Oh, wait a second. Nope, 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 actually no. Nope, that's... that's a different layout there. Huh. Wait. Nope, that's... Right, yeah. I have to keep checking because I'm pretty sure that they'll have reused at least one of these pillars for it. I doubt that they'd have made new assets for all of them. Huh. Looks like they might have. Headphones off to the developers. Lose a bit of energy. Not good. Not at all. I uh, know. We need to keep. Oh. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like Who else getting the lock open or something? On it. <sighs> okay. Settle hmm. down, you crazy teens. They're the same age as me. No, let's let's have a nosy around the place. What's this? Private. See what it has to do with the murderer, though. Can I set these sheets on fire? That would help open the lock. Just saying. Set the place on fire, you're bound to defrost anything inside. There's no power. Hmm. Why is there so much whispering? What? 
Are you guys planning a surprise party for me or something? Huh? Did a surprise party? Guys. Look at the fire. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm just trying to, well, I'm trying to find hidden shit. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. That voice sounded very forced. I... Hello, Mrs. Washington. Now it's sort of like this. Like some putting on a voice. Didn't sound at all like natural voice. You would have imagined they get someone who sounded like they had a natural voice if it was a serious thing. But I'm pretty sure. No new messages. I'm pretty sure that sounded a lot like the voice actor for Josh. And I wanted to listen to it again, and you guys will probably be able to, if you want, look back in the video and see for yourself. Can we go through here, actually? Nope. Don't know why it keeps the doors inside locked. Where the fuck is the deodorant? I've just went around in a circle. God fucking damn it. Sorry this part's taking a little bit while to get back to the rest. Hopefully I edit it down a little bit, but I'm not really wanting to edit this a ton. Oh, there's a window open. I've closed that, Let's see. Close it. Are you serious? Who's it? Do you have any idea how much heat is going to be lost through that window? I mean, you've completely negated the whole point of having a building. But it's protection from the elements. If you let the elements back inside, then you've just... You've just under cut everything that you've been working. I cannot fucking speak! You've just undone all of the people's efforts to build the place in the first place. Also, this is a fucking beautiful looking house. Seriously. Only issue is it with it is that it's literally in a place where you cannot really live. You can't, you can't uh, grow vegetables in snow, right? Yes, there will be times a year when it's not going to be snow, but those times will be pretty few and far between. I would imagine. Where the fuck do we go? This way? Well, I think it might be this way. Light the candle. Okay, you can't light the candle. Fuck you too. <sighs> this is getting kind of boring. This is supposed to be game. I'm kind of forgetting where I've actually been and where I've not. Did I come from here? I think I might have come from here. Oh, cinema room, what? <laughs> Where the fuck did I go? Oh, fucking damn it. I thought it was upstairs, but apparently no. Okay. 
Yeah, living family photo with strange looking faces on both ends and the only natural one looks in the middle. The other two kind of look like they've been photoshopped on. Which is just weird. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. I could stay here for a little longer. I mean, give them a bit of something to worry about, you know? Yeah. Then again, this is just a game. They're not really going to be that worried about it, and they're probably not even going to mention how long it took me to get. Fucking Yoder thing. Can huh. where the fuck does this lot of stickers do Yoderan? I mean, why doesn't he just leave it in the middle of the lounge? Or sitting in the middle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I mean, that would be kind of easy at least. Dead. No, he wants to make it a fucking one of the the things where it's basically just a still picture and you have to pick out objects from it. Those ain't fun. Did I miss something upstairs? I just remembered I could do the walk fast thing. I apologize. I think I know what the whispers are about now. They're like, what the fuck's taking this guy so long? This door. I thought that was this door that you had to go through. God fucking damn it! Can he be this way? Motherfucker! Where? Where do I go? It's just. Bookshelves. And there's clearly no doors out the window. <sighs> you can't close that for some stupid reason. It's this way. Motherfucker. Set the plant on fire. Set it on fire. Set the books on fire. Fire. Hmm. Oh my god, don't tell me it's another fucking staircase. Oh, thank god. But why would she... Who the fuck designed that? I'm pretty sure that bit there is where we're actually supposed to go, but seriously, who the fuck designed this? Why is there a banister that... Where does this overhang? We were dangerously close to getting his crotch in our face. Wouldn't he like that? No, wouldn't he? Okay, here we go. Here's the mess. Hey, Inferno. And you're gonna use it for a flamethrower. I guess I'll just leave my hand here for a little bit. Yeah, getting a good getting a good stretch of the muscles right now, you can. Yeah. Anyway, let's grab it. <laughs> Buns off out here. Nice to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. Ah! 
<laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <laughs> Sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so still good to be waiting. inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <coughs> Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off, have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa, easy there, cowboy. Let's try and see what we can cause. Make this a little interesting. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M through the telescope. Before, we just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Bunch of... Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncal look whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Fight! Stop fight, fight! 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 This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the oh. trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? What the fuck is Rodeo? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Why do you, you care so you much about this stupid you fucking think jacket? I my bag? Well, do I... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. 
Good talk. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Really need gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> I honestly can't tell if she was joking there. Ooh, that's seating. This flashlight is really useful down here. Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Just to look for ways I can kill them. Hmm. Any of these trees look like they're gonna fall over? Hmm. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Why would the light turn on if it wasn't powered? In fact, now that I'm just gonna take the opportunity to quickly disappear for a piss, you can. Hey. See you in a sec. Right, I'm back. So, let's continue. Alright. Hey, Mike. Gonna find the generator or what? Yes, I've literally just come back. Hmm. Oh, what was that? What was that? Studio. Picked up and turn. Is that red I or wish wrong? the generator was excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Shut up! Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. You like to complain, don't you? This is why I want to kill her. See if there's some way I can kill them with the generator. Alright. Let's see. Can I doubt it? Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard! Thanks. Oh. Hey, buddy, you didn't kill them! Buddy! Hey! Hey! Come back here with your flamethrower and burn them! You disappoint me, murderer. I understand that you might want to play with your prey, but... I don't have time for it. And I want to make things interesting. I hope that's not copyright. Otherwise, I'll change it to Butcher Pete. Don't tempt me, I'll do it! You don't look psyched yet. I am 
so psyched right now. It's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Really? I really hope that this doesn't get the video struck. Shut up with your sound, please. Shut up, yes. Yes, I know that it's there. Let's keep moving. Fuck no, I'll keep moving. You just stay there. You can freeze. Damn it, keep the music away from me, please! Is there something I can do about that? Uh, audio... Music! Okay. More with the ambient music, but it's the actual... Singing stuff that's an issue. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Maybe turn off the music. Try and sneak by. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot wait, chocolate wait, with wait. Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. Really? Are you fucking retarded? No. No, no, no. No going into a mine. All right. It's pretty clear that that place isn't in operation anymore. There's no... How fucking old do you think that wood would be? In fact, you know what? I'm just going to take a wild guess. Because if I go into here, it says 1952. I'm going to take a guess that there was some sort of accident in the mines. And we can find clues about it. And so that means that the mine was closed around about 1952. That means that it's half a, de half a century old wood keeping that up. Okay, I've got... There's a part of my house which we use as a shed and the wood there is I think only a couple decades old now and it's com it's pretty much almost completely rotten through. It's still keeping the building up but it's seriously needing replaced. We've got like metal struts keeping it from collapsing. Right, it's no good. But, I mean, this place is... Look! It's pretty clear there's already been a fucking issue with the wood here. What the fuck was this? What happened here? What's the story? Why is there some broken stuff here already? And I know that the, the ice prevents it... Ah! Prevents it from rotting as fast, yeah, Jessica. but that's yeah. still half a hey. century. Um, okay. Holy crap! You scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I, uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. <sighs> All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. Uh. Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Climb you over it. The tiny little gap? Yeah, maybe you can just, you know, like shimmy through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the, right. Okay, gotcha. Just climb okay. over. So why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me. I'm trying to kill these people, so here's a light. All right, Jess, I'm gonna drop the light down. Okay, look alive. What? Look al. All right, just a heads up. 
I wish it smashed. It. That would be amazing. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Why did you not just climb over? Ah! Ah! Jess! Die, die, Jess, die, 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 die! What was that? Are you okay? I, I, I saw something! What? Uh, something moved! Okay, it's probably a spider. Just like a bat or something! A bat? Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. No! Oh, stay! Have stay! Ah. Well, it's not gonna bite you! Okay, that's what bats do! They bite me! No, they don't! Batsy, insects, and fruit, you daffy! I'm going this way, fuck you. <laughs> okay, apparently there's just a wall there. Psychopath, what were you doing? You had your opportunity, it was laid out on a platter for you! <sighs> I'm disappointed in you. I'm not going to be able to take you seriously anymore, you murderous boy. God oh, damn it. So disappointed in them. We take the scenic route? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bat you yeah. upside the head. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you okay? Ah, damn it, he's still alive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh god, you totally ate shit. Thank you. <sighs> still got my teeth. That's a plus. <sighs> yes. Yes. <sighs> Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Yeah, what's this way then? Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Ooh. So at some point when I think that she's dead... She's gonna still be alive. Fuck. You're not gonna comment on what you just seen? You, you wanna have a look? Here, look at this! Look, it shows you dying. Well, not quite dying. Almost dying. Really entertaining. It's, it's a good watch. 9 out of 10. Not enough blood. What's that symbol? Oh, I thought it was some sort of slug, but it's actually... It's like a... a headdress of some kind. So if you see, if, if you look at it like that and flip it upside down, it kind of looks like a slug! You see? You see it, don't you? Yeah. Put that back. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? What do the Native Americans worship? I don't know. Nature? Scotia?
Couldn't you have waited just a step Close more? One. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Is that cordyceps spores I seen there? I hope it was. It would be rather entertaining to me if this suddenly turned into The Last of Us. <laughs> then I knew that these people would die. <laughs> yes. Don't judge me. Look, you see them too, don't you? Not crazy. <laughs> Come on, just a bit of a thing, I think. We're very lucky that this just so happened to come out on the path. Ooh, what's this? Is this one of the execution things? I think this is one of those execution things where... No, actually, it's not. I thought it was one of the things where they... It's like the... Basically, it goes like that, but there's holes for head and arms. What are you doing? Need to pee? No, I don't, I don't want to see his face. No. Do you need to pee? There's plenty of bushes around if you want to pee. Just go for a piss. Okay? Okay? Okay, okay, let's go. Apparently you don't need to pee. It's good. good. Get out of my way, lass! God damn it. I'm the one with the torch, okay? That means I go in front. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like... Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, I'll take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> alright, alright. Save it for the stump speed. Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the class, gonna look at the cab. Um, whoa. You alright? I just saw someone at the cabin. Well, I'm just going to completely disregard that information. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh! Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please! Come on! Let's... Not hug a bear. I hope she was joking. Blackwood Pines, inhabitants of the mountain, northwestern wolf, Canis lupus occidentius. A legendary carnivore, this powerful predator is known to attack elk, caribou, and any and any stricken animal they come across. In Alberta, the hunting and baiting of wolves is permitted on private land. You'll be glad to know that wolf numbers are kept well under control here in Blackwood, Pro Blackwood Pines. So you hunt and kill wolves. I can't say I agree to this. Wolves are beautiful animals. As are many. Anyway, Grizzly Bear, Uru Zakatos Horribilis, I think that was, it said, an omnivore with a strong predilection towards scavenging. The grizzly, the grizzly is not known to turn down any meal. Its preferred diet is fish, salmon, bass, and trout, and the animal is often found near rivers or mountain streams. Though extremely dangerous, grizzly bear attacks on humans remain rare. Rocky Mountain Elk. Cervus canadensis. Canadensis nelsoni. Cervus canadensis nelsoni. 
The magnificent elk has ruled these lands for thousands of years, though they are often quite docile creatures. The dominant males, known as bulls, are known to aggressively defend their harem from any intruders, leading to brutal bouts of headbutting and charging. Yeah, I'm surprised that during the little intro bit that no one got impaled. That's this uh, happens quite often. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. That. All right. That's just cloth. Huh. Okay. The first time that I watched a playthrough of this, I actually thought that the cloth was a hanging body. Yeah. I also know that nothing happens if you look at it again. Beer. Watch out, bird brain. Just because every time that I've watched someone play this, they've went for wit, I'm gonna go for annoyed. Rat wings. Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? These are gross! Like diseases and shit. <laughs> I like the thought of annoying them. Cabin. Facing the wrong way. Damn it, Josh. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. That's how it's gonna be. Yes. Yes. One down. 